Hi, she was seven. I'm back today. And today I wanted to tell y'all hi. Okay. Um, someone asked me to do this video. It is a video request. They want to know what type of men like to spoil women. Like, what should they be looking for? What type of guys are most likely to spoil women? Okay. So I made a list, y'all. So I'm going to go down my list. Types of men who like to spoil women. Old boyfriends who want you back. You can get what you can get out of them. But you don't have to take them back. Men stuck in the friend zone. Okay. When a man is stuck in the friend zone, he is willing to do whatever it takes to get out of that friend zone. Okay. So if you want something really nice, if you want to be spoiled, um he will most likely do it for you older men okay men who are much older than you will spoil you okay because they're already financially stable they like young women and you make them feel young they have the money to spend most of their kids are grown they probably either are already divorced by now or are not married so they have plenty to spend okay and they don't mind spoiling you because they know that, you know, they're older. That's what men did back in the day. They were gentlemen. They spoiled their women. They kept their women happy. Um, and so that's just who they are. And they'll do that kind of stuff. Okay. New boyfriends. You get a new boyfriend and he's like all in love with you and eager to please you. This is when you can get the most out of him. Okay. <laughs> um, someone with a crush on you. Someone you know likes you and who has a crush on you, you can get you can get them to spoil you with certain things. Now, I wouldn't ask the, the crush person, like if you don't like them back, don't ask them to do something like totally huge, like maybe like favors or like, you know, can you give me some coffee? Like if you're at work or, you know, um, just something small. Don't, don't, because people with crushes, and you don't like them back, you know, that, that can be a messy situation. So, but you can get a few things out of them, favors and little small things. Okay. Work husbands. Now I've talked about the work husband before. Um, I know a lot of people who uh, work with men all day long. They're at work eight hours plus a day and they're side by side with certain guys. And, you know, relationships, friendships develop and you know, you become very close and, you know, sometimes the guy develops a crush on you or you develop a crush on the guy, but you really don't act on them because that's just your work husband. <laughs> but you can sometimes get things out of your work husband. You can say, oh, well, you know, I'm hungry. Let's go get lunch. I forgot my wallet and they'll buy you lunch. You can be like, oh, let's go get coffee. Oh, they'll go get you coffee. Oh, let's go to happy hour after work. They'll get you drinks. Um, you know. On your birthday, you get a gift. Uh, every holiday, they're going to bring you something. So if you don't have a work husband, find one. Okay. And <laughs> I'm sorry, man. If you, I'm sorry, guys and husbands. But, you know, that's just how it is. If you if you send your wife out to work eight plus more hours a day with somebody, then that's, you know, that's the risk you take. Okay. Take care of your own family, your own wife. Don't, uh, if you don't want her to have a work husband, find a career that you can um, be able to afford for her not to work. Okay. Y'all know that's just my personal belief. Okay. Uh, <laughs> men who enjoy praise from women. Okay. Men who like to be complimented by women, who like to be praised by women, who like to be around a bunch of women so they can look like they have status. Um, guys who like to hang around the bar and buy women drinks so they can look like they're all that, so they can have their pick of the women at the end of the night. These are the kind of men who will spoil you. They'll buy you drinks, food, whatever. Okay. <laughs> a man who is trying to steal you from your current relationship. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, so a guy knows you're already with someone, but he still pursues you every day. He's like, oh my God, when you break with him, come call me. Here's my number just in case you ever need a friend. When you leave him, come find me. That dude, yes, he will spoil you. Um, you know, this is the guy that, um, this is the plan B guy. This is the guy that 
women go to when they're mad at whoever they're with or when whoever they went can't be contacted by the phone for days <laughs> like if y'all are still like in that boyfriend relationship boyfriend girlfriend relationship or whatever okay your husband when he's in the doghouse when you're really mad at him and the only way he knows that you're going to forgive him is if he gets you something really expensive or does something that you've always wanted to do he will give you your way okay some women even pick fights to get what they want out of their spouse and they don't really even be mad at them they just like know that <laughs> they get in a huge argument and they give them the silent treatment or be mad or withhold sex and the only way that um, the husband can get out of the doghouse is to give the woman what she wants. Okay. <laughs> so those are the guys that will spoil you for in the circumstances that come along with it. So I know um, a lot of men are going to be upset about this, but I don't care because this is not for y'all. This video is for the women who are trying to get what they want. Okay. And I'm just trying to tell them how to do it. Okay. They're going to figure it out eventually anyway. So there you go. Okay. Um, oh, I had another relationship question. Um, so someone asks, what does it mean when a man says, oh, I'm not looking for a relationship right now, but you never asked him. You never say, oh, well, what are you looking for? But he just blurts this out. This means that he's just looking for sex. Okay. When he says, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. This means I want to take you out to eat, spend some money on you and see if you'll give it up. Okay. Um, or he's already got a girlfriend or he's married that's what that means okay um or he's just not ready for a relationship because he's broke and he just wants to see who he can sleep with okay that was easy okay um oh okay and then i had another one i'm gonna cover three in this one so how do you flirt with men when you're out and about like eye contact and stuff like that so when you're out and about, like say you're at the bar or wherever, club or wherever y'all go these days, brunch, and you see a guy that you think is cute and he's across the room, how do you flirt with him to get him to come over to you? Well, you pretend like you ignore him. Girl, don't ignore him. Look everywhere else but him. Smile, look, and when you like move your head and like when you get his direction, he's already going to be looking at you anyway, right? Well, hopefully, if he's not. Uh, if you see him checking you out, this is what you do. You like, you know, look across the room and like look at everybody except for him. You know, like go over his head, like look up when it comes to him and go like that. And then come back to the middle and then look at him real quick for two seconds in his eye and then like go back like you never even noticed that you were looking at him in his eye and then go back to what you were doing. Okay, that brief little eye contact will get him excited. And if you like what he saw, and if you like that connection, he's going to come to you. But that's it. Only one time. Or like if you get up to go to the, use the restroom and you have to pass him by, um, make sure that you don't stop and look at him. Because that's like really desperate. Um, <laughs> keep going and, you know, get in the restroom, whatever, do whatever. Spray, like carry some perfume, right? Spray some perfume. Shh. A lot not not too much but just so that when you walk back out and you walk next to him he smells your perfume like like whoosh, and and he'll smell that and then because guys get turned on by looks and smells so when you pass back by if you can if you can like brush into him by accident just keep walking and don't even say nothing just like brush into him and don't say sorry or whatever because that's too obvious just brush into him and if he says sorry or whatever that's fine but just brush into him, just like barely, so you don't have to really apologize. It's like, you know, you're in a crowded place. Oops, my bad. So, and keep going. And you've touched him, you've made eye contact with him, he smelled you. Um, if he doesn't come over by then, then he's probably not that interested in you because usually when you've had this much, con much, bleh, much contact with a woman in a club, in a place where you don't know anyone, it means that she's interested in you, but not pursuing you. Because when a woman pursues a man, some guys are going to say, oh, that's flattering. I wish more women would do that. It's because it's easy for them and they don't have to put in any work. Okay. And it's not as much of a challenge and they don't have to present their best foot forward. You know, if as a woman, you let them pursue you, they're not, they're going to come correct and they're not going to come with, you know, oh, I know you want me. So, 
and, and this kind of game stuff like so that means you're gonna pay for everything right no when a man chases a woman he knows first of all he gotta pay second it's the thrill of the catch men are very competitive creatures if you give yourself up too easily for them they're gonna become disinterest uninterested in you disinterested uninterested in you very fast okay so never do that okay always ignore the guy let him come to you okay if you're one of those women who have low self-esteem and there's too much competition in the room and you don't think that you can compete with all these women and you just go approach him he's not even looking at you he's looking at all those other women who are standing back because they know their worth okay I've seen this many times. I used to go out all the time. I would always just be sitting there with my little drink. I would watch all these girls approach. I'm just drinking. I'm looking. And like, all of a he just walk, he walks away from them and comes over to me. Why? Because I don't need him. Those other girls are were thirsty, basically. They were all throwing themselves at him, laughing at all the stupid corny jokes. He didn't even want them to you know talk to him because men are supposed to approach women so the whole time he's sitting there checking me out and here comes these flies i call them flies and they're like attracted to him because he's you know he's attractive and so the whole time they're talking to him he's looking at me because i'm not like a fly and so i'm, I'm just sitting there you know, ignoring whatever, do what I do. And so whenever these girls get finished yapping in their mouth, and he's like, oh, excuse me, excuse me, lady, excuse me, ma'am. And he walks on over to me. And you should see the looks on their face. They were mad. They were like, oh, man. <laughs> uh, so never approach a man because you don't know who they're looking at across the room. You don't know if they're um, trying to watch certain women to see how they act. In public and in, in public places and stuff like that men a lot of men do this they'll sit there and watch a woman and how she reacts to certain things and people and how she carries herself and all this kind of stuff if you are sitting up there approaching a man then uh, it's gonna show that you're you value yourself a lot less than those women that won't so barely flirt with men in the clubs barely flirt with men in bars now if they're um, if they come and talk to you and you want to flirt during the conversation eye contact and touch that's it touch their hand um, touch their forearm uh, body language cross your legs toward them lean up and lean in towards them mimic their moves which means you're very interested that's all you have to do okay body language speaks way louder than words and um, obvious flirting so don't do that believe me it doesn't work men always want what they can't have what's hard to get and um what's a challenge they don't like easy unless they're just being lazy and cheap that night okay if you want a man to chase you who really wants you who's going to do things for you you need to make them work for it because only men who like challenges will treat you like you want to be treated okay men who are lazy and don't want to work for nothing imagine how they're going to be in a relationship they're not going to want to do anything for you. They're going to want you to do everything for them. They're going to want you to make all the initial um, plans. They're going to want to make, make you pay. They're going to make you do everything because that's how the relationship started. Okay? So, keep that in mind when you go out, ladies. And <clears throat> even if you don't get approached that night, somebody's watching you. And if you return back to that same place and that person's there as well, like if you have a regular spot, they will they will notice that okay so just because you don't get approached one night doesn't mean you failed you know sometimes you just have to set set the standards for people that you know will see you again so keep that in mind as well i'll see y'all later oh and also if y'all like this look i have this makeup tutorial on my uh, beauty channel i will link the video below y'all check me out over there and subscribe to me and share my video um yeah so uh, also, if y'all like makeup, um, there is a website called Octoli. If you're a YouTuber, you can get three free makeup samples a month if you sign up with them. 
and I'll try to put that link below as well and I'll see y'all later okay